Hi, my name is Govind and I'm a program manager on the Azure Cosmos DB team. Today, I'm very excited to share with you the preview of continuous backup mode, which allows point-in-time restore with Azure Cosmos DB. Let us briefly review what is available for backup today and various customer asks. Cosmos DB takes backup of the account at four hour interval and retains that back backup for about eight hours. The first two copies are completely free. You can modify the backup retention and interval and pay extra for those copies. The restore activity is triggered via the support ticket. Our customers have asked for self-service restore via portal, CLI or PowerShell and more granular restore. As a result, we are introducing a new backup mode called continuous. This mode, as the name suggests, takes continuous backup of the data in every region where the account is present. It allows restore of the data in the last 30 days window from any point in time. Now, let us explore how you can provision a new Cosmos DB account with continuous mode and restore it under different scenarios. Let us look at how do we provision a Cosmos DB account with continuous backup mode. You just need to make sure that you choose this option in the backup policy called as a continuous mode. Of course, you can also create the account using PowerShell or CLI. In both cases, you require a name, resource group and a location. Let us consider the scenario where you have accidentally deleted or modified some data. You need to basically restore now this data into another account at certain point of time just before that incident has happened. Let us see how we could do the restore via portal for this particular scenario. We will have to provide the date the time in UTC, the location. We can choose the entire account to be restored or we can choose specific database and containers. Provide the resource group and the target account name. Clicking submit now would start the restore process. In case where you might have dropped the container or the database, or recreated them, you can look up those events in the rich event feed to choose the time of your restore. The restore action will result in a notification which you can track down. As you can see, the status of this new account is in creating state. Once it is done, it will be online. Let's consider a scenario where you accidentally deleted an account. Here you want to restore the account with its data and container to a point in time before the incident has happened. Let us switch to the portal to see how we can do the restore activity. You will notice a new restore action on the portal. This enables enumerating all the deleted accounts with continuous backup mode. Once you choose the account that you want to restore, you need to choose the date, you need to provide the time, you need to choose the resource group, the account name, and the location. Once you click the submit action, you will notice the notification and you can track the restore status by going ahead and finding out what is happening for the account. And here the status will denote creating. Now let us say you want to restore the account in one of the regions. This is pretty straightforward. You would choose the point in time restore option, provide the date, the time, resource group and the account name most importantly, you will choose which region that you want to restore it to, and then hit submit to do the restore. You can always do restore operations using PowerShell or the CLI. In both cases, 
you require a target resource group, a target database account name, source account name, the restore timestamp in UTC, and a location. You can also choose to restore specific databases and containers. Now let us look at how you can ensure who can do the restore activity. You can do this at two levels. One is at the subscription level, where you can assign a role called as a Cosmos restore operator to a given principle. You can also use CLI or PowerShell to ensure that you provide a very restrictive scope of restore activity just to a particular database account. That was a brief overview of the continuous backup mode in Cosmos DB. It provides the ability to do granular restore using PowerShell, CLI or Portal. As an action item, please go ahead and create a new account with continuous backup mode today. Thank you.